Hello, how are you? I'm gonna do another unboxing video, although this time I actually already took everything out of the box because I didn't want you to see me struggle getting this giant watermelon out of the box from the counter. But here it is, beautiful watermelon. And I know there's lots of things you can do with watermelon, but we just like to eat it. So you all can share some of your great delicious recipes with me of how you're using up your watermelon. Um, but we usually just slice it and it's gone pretty quickly. Let's see here, we have wonderful carrots and always remember my mantra to take your tops off of your carrots. Just pull them off, that's all. And then put them straight into a green bag and into the fridge. And when I say green bag, I mean this Debbie Meyer green bag. Um, in some ways I hate like advertising for this company so much, but also this has been a lifesaver for me um, in keeping the produce um, a lot longer. Another thing that I use is this fresh paper, um, and it's just these sheets of paper that you put in the bottom of the produce drawer. Um, and so for some things that I, it smells like cumin or something like that, it's really yummy. Um, so like, I probably won't put my zucchini in bags, um, but I'll have the fresh paper in there. So I also have zucchini, and if you're getting a little tired of zucchini, which I'm not quite yet, but um, uh, somebody posted a recipe for zucchini brownies, which I'm really excited about. Of course, zucchini bread, you can hide zucchini and all sorts of things. Um, this is one thing I'm really excited about this week, a spaghetti squash. The color is a little weird, um, my lighting, but it's a yellow spaghetti squash and um, you can use it like as pasta. You can just do a side dish. Um, you just cut it in half, um, take out the pulp from the middle, um, and then bake it either face up or face down on, um, just bake it and be sure to bake it long enough that the spaghetti squash actually gets soft. Um, and it does take a while sometimes for that to happen. One of the things I really like to do with this is, um, like spaghetti squash pizza boats. Um, so I do it in half, I cook it, I'm pretty sure I do it face down. Um, so then it like almost caramelizes a little bit on the edges and then once it's baked then I turn it over and I fill it with things so I might um, do some um, diced or cubed or whatever cooked zucchini um, some salami or pepperoni some pasta sauce and some shredded mozzarella cheese basically olives we really like black olives anything you would put on a pizza put it in the boat and then bake it again um, and the kids really really like that so I'm excited about that. I might wait till next week when I get two so that I'll have four um, zucchini boats. And lettuce in the summer is just a real treat and so I hope that you all are enjoying it as much as I am. Again, be sure to put that lettuce in a green bag. Um, and then shake, if there's any water on it, you shake off the extra water, there's not really on mine. There's probably not. Candy onions are really great. We love the candy onions. Um, yeah, use them like onions or just like saute them for a really long time to caramelize them is delicious. These have some extra sweetness in them. Um, that's why they're called candy onions. And then I got my sun gold cherry tomatoes. I actually swapped out regular tomatoes for the sun golds because I love them so much. They are so sweet. And um, I think I've told you all to not put tomatoes in the fridge, but sun golds are the exception to that rule because they have such a high sugar content that unless you eat them, like the day that you get them or maybe the day after, um, they'll start to go bad really quickly if you just leave them out. So if you're not gonna eat them within the first day or two, which I do highly suggest doing that, um, go ahead and put them in the fridge. Um, sometimes, again, we just like eat these almost like fruit, um, but they're great in a salad and they're really, really great made into a salsa. Um, oh, just thought of this. So if you use maybe just like half of one of the candy onions and put it with lemon juice and a little salt and let it sit to where you like pickle the onion just a little bit and then add that to um, some quartered um, tomatoes, I think that would make a really great salsa. I might, I might taste it then. And if you have like a jalapeno pepper, you could add that or um, I'll, I'll have to do that and see if I add anything else. But I think just some some salt and lemon juice in that added to these would be really delicious. So enjoy.